oscillator because of the drain of energy there will be damping and hence the oscillations will come down drastically so what we are going to do is we are going to pump energy into the system so that there is no loss of energy even though there is a loss of energy we are compensating it by supplying energy from outside so what happens is the oscillations will never come down that is the oscillations will continue or there will be sustained oscillations such a system is what is known as a forced harmonic oscillator so we are forcing it to vibrate with the very same energy and with the very same amplitude so let us take the case of a forced harmonic oscillator so what we have seen that in the case of a damped harmonic oscillator there are two terms which are pulling it backwards one is the restoring force which is given as minus kx and the next one is the damping force given by minus bv now in the case of a forced harmonic oscillator another term is going to be added up and this added up quantity is represented by f sin omega ft where omega f is what is known as the driving frequency or the imposed frequency so we will rewrite the equation in a very simplified manner on the left hand side it is the very same thing that is m into d square x by dt square on the right hand side we will write minus kx minus bv plus f sin omega ft where omega f is the driving frequency now the whole equation is divided by m as usual now the equation becomes d square x by dt square equal to minus k by m x minus b v by m plus f by m sin omega f t we know that k by m is equal to omega square and b by m is equal to 2 lambda we will make one more modification let f by m is equal to f 0 now the equation becomes d square x by dt square equal to minus omega square x minus 2 lambda v plus f0 sin omega ft or d square x by dt square plus 2 lambda dx by dt plus omega square x equal to f0 sin omega ft. You see after some time the system attains a steady state and the system will oscillate with the external frequency omega f. And now let us make an assumption about the displacement produced. Let the displacement x equal to a sin omega ft minus theta. So what we do is at the place of x we will substitute this value and at the place of dx by dt we will make a substitution and also at the place of d square x by dt square we will make one more substitution. So dx by dt equal to a omega f cos omega ft minus theta and d square x by dt square equal to minus a omega square sin omega ft minus theta. Now let us substitute it. Now the equation becomes minus a omega square sin omega ft minus theta plus 2 lambda a omega f cos omega ft minus theta plus omega square a sin omega ft minus theta. This is equal to f0 sin omega ft. Now let us modify the right hand side as f0 sin omega ft minus theta plus theta. So the equation again can be rewritten as minus a omega f square sin omega ft minus theta plus 2 lambda a omega f cos omega ft minus theta plus omega square a sin omega ft minus theta equal to f0 sin omega ft minus theta plus theta. So the right hand side can be expanded in the form of sin a plus b. So the right hand side becomes f0 sin omega ft minus theta cos theta plus f0 cos omega ft minus theta sin theta. So expanding the right hand side we have modified the equation. Now the equation can be written as minus a omega f square sin omega f t minus theta plus 2 lambda a omega f cos omega f t minus theta 
plus omega square a sin omega of t minus theta equal to f0 sin omega of t minus theta cos theta plus f0 cos omega of t minus theta sin theta. Now, we can combine the similar terms. So, we get omega square a minus a omega f square within bracket then sin omega f t minus theta plus 2 lambda a omega f cos omega f t minus theta equal to f0 cos theta sin omega f t minus theta plus f0 sin theta cos omega f t minus theta. Now, we can equate the coefficients of sin omega f t minus theta and cos omega f t minus theta. Equating the coefficient of sin omega f t, we get f0 cos theta equal to omega square a minus a omega square. Now, equating the coefficients of cos omega f t minus theta, we get f0 sin theta equal to 2 lambda a omega f. Now, we have two equations, one with f0 cos theta and the other with f0 sin theta. So, we will square and add these equations. Squaring and adding the two equations, we get f0 square equal to omega square a minus a omega f square whole square plus 4 lambda square a square omega f square. This is equal to a square within bracket omega square minus omega f square whole square plus 4 lambda square a square omega f square or f0 square equal to a square within bracket omega square minus omega f square whole square plus 4 lambda square omega f square or a square that is the square of the amplitude equal to f0 square divided by omega square minus omega f square whole square plus 4 lambda square omega f square. Therefore, the amplitude is given by the equation a equal to f0 divided by square root of omega square minus omega f square whole square plus 4 lambda square omega f square. We know that the displacement x equal to a sin omega f t minus theta. Therefore, the displacement can be rewritten as x equal to f0 divided by square root of omega square minus omega f square whole square plus 4 lambda square omega square into sin omega f t minus theta.